Today we're going over mass airflow sensors, which is this little part right here, and how it can turn your check engine light on. In the event that you need to replace one of these sensors, you can get that from 1AAuto.com. Now let's check it out. Mass airflow sensors, or also known as MAF sensors, are gonna be located near your air box, and it's gonna meter the air going into the engine. And then the computer can make calculated adjustments depending on how much airflow is going into the engine. This is where the airflow comes into this snorkel, goes past the air filter in the air box, past the mass airflow sensor, and then on into the engine. These are oftentimes overlooked and misdiagnosed, and they play a crucial role in having your engine run properly. One of the best ways to save money is with accurate information. You don't wanna go spending a bunch of money on repairs that you don't need. You wanna check the basics first. Whenever your check engine light comes on, that's your vehicle's way of telling you there's something wrong. And to find out what it's saying, all you need is a simple code reader like this. In the event that you're having a problem with the mass airflow sensor, you're gonna get a code similar to this. We have a P0102, which is mass or volume airflow A circuit low. In combination with a mass airflow sensor code, you may have some symptoms as well a running rough condition or a lack of power, even a stalling condition. So we're gonna have to check this out a little further under the hood. Before you go replacing any parts, you wanna take a look and see if you can see anything obvious. You can grab the mass airflow sensor connector, give it a wiggle, see if it's loose. Maybe it was just unplugged when someone was checking an air filter and they forgot to plug it back in. Then you wanna check the air box, make sure nothing is disconnected, none of the hoses are popped off or anything, everything looks solid, that looks good. And also check the air filter, take the air filter out. There could be some debris that has gotten past the air filter and that's giving you an issue. A dirty air filter can cause some issues with the mass airflow sensors. So make sure you change your air filter regularly. And if you have maybe a rodent in there and there's a lot of mouse nests or something, that can cause some issues as well. You also wanna check the boot at the throttle body. Make sure the clamps are tight and everything's secure. Normally you might be accompanied with a fuel trim code if that's an issue, but strange things happen. In the past, I actually saw a leaf cause an issue with a mass airflow sensor getting on the sensor itself. So you wanna make sure you clean out any debris out of the air box before you put a air filter in. Now we didn't find anything obvious yet, so let's take it out and take a better look at it. Generally, most mass airflow sensors are pretty simple. You just have a connector that you have to disconnect and a couple of screws that you can take out. Some of them you may have to take some hose clamps off because they're part of a housing, but a lot of them are just like this, where it's just the sensor. And you pull it out. Take a good look at it, see if there's anything obvious, whether it's damaged or there's a lot of debris or dirt on it. Cleaning these can damage it anyway, so you're better off just replacing it. Here we have the new one, and installing it's gonna be even easier than taking it out. Just slide it in, put the screws in, and again, if you have clamps, you wanna re-secure the clamps on yours. Connect the connector, easy peasy. Now that we've fixed our problem, we're gonna erase the codes. Go to erase codes on the scan tool. Ignition on, engine off. All right, those are reset, and we're good to go. There we go, we fixed our problem. As you can see, it wasn't that difficult. This is something you don't wanna put off and it's something you can definitely do on your own.